an American producer has implanted a miniature camera in his right eye socket, thus restoring his lost vision due to an unfortunate accident. South Korean robots independently manage data centers without human intervention. In the United States, robotic smart shopping carts prevented theft of goods worth $100 million. Corporations are mass-purchasing heavily armed security drones. Robotic systems for humans greatly improve physical abilities and assist in recovery after illnesses. These and other high-tech news in one video. Director and producer Rob Spence has implanted a miniature camera in his right eye socket. The device was recently activated and successfully tested. The newfound cyborg intends to use this unusual source of video footage in film production. When Rob was nine years old, he severely damaged his right eye due to careless handling of a shotgun. For a long time, the Canadian filmmaker wore an eye patch, and six years ago, surgeons replaced his non-functional eye with a simple prosthetic, allowing him to get rid of the black eye patch and no longer feel self-conscious about his appearance. Meanwhile, Spence conceived the idea of replacing the basic prosthetic with a tiny video camera, which he named the iBorg Project. Project. The unconventional prosthesis was designed by Toronto specialist Phil Bowen, who crafted an artificial eye socket housing the camera. The front wall of the prosthesis resembles the eye's outer shell, while the back holds the electronics. Currently, the prosthesis's battery can last for about 30 minutes before requiring a recharge. Several industrial companies have decided to participate both financially and in the development of this innovative project. Spence cannot directly see through his new eye. Unlike various projects involving artificial retinas, the eyeboard camera doesn't send signals to the brain. Instead, the tiny device wirelessly transmits the image to a portable display. From there, the signal can be redirected to a computer for recording and editing. Spence sees his acquisition as an opportunity to elevate documentary and artistic film filmmaking to a new level. He also believes that this development will contribute to the advancement of research in the field of prosthetics. Harmonic Bionics has unveiled a robotic rehabilitation system for upper limbs, providing comprehensive therapy for both arms of people who have experienced a stroke. The company's experts claim that upper limb neurorehabilitation using an intelligent and robotic system contributes to the fastest and most complete recovery of patients. The system can be programmed individually for each person supporting the body's own weight and recording the correct movements of the healthy arm to transfer them to the second immobile arm. The Shadow Dexter's Hand is a humanoid robot hand system developed by the Shadow Robot Company in London. The hand has 24 joints. It has 20 degrees of freedom greater than that of a human hand. It has been designed to have a range of movement equivalent to that of a typical human being. The hand is available in both electric motor-driven and pneumatic muscle-driven models. The Shadow Dexter's Robot Hand is the first commercially available robot hand from the company and follows a series of prototype humanoid hand and arm systems. The Shadow Hand software system is based on robot operating system through which configured configuration, calibration, simulation, and control of the hand is implemented. The hand is currently used in a wide range of institutions including NASA, BLFL University, and Carnegie Mellon University, as well as in European Union research projects such as Handel. Taking large steps, including stepping over high obstacles, is a complex task for a humanoid robot. The robot must operate at the limits of its capabilities in workspace. Engineers from IHMC have introduced a method of non-linear trajectory optimization for step generation. The robot calculates the trajectory of its center of mass in a way that minimizes the required torques for the movement. As a result, the duration of each step phase is optimized to allow the robot to stabilize its body. the Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute showcased the capabilities of its robot Armstrong. The machine is designed to operate in extreme conditions when eliminating the consequences of nuclear disasters. This compact robot can move at a speed of 6 kilometers per hour, carry 100 kilograms of payload in addition to its two working arms, and tow loads weighing up to 200 kilograms. Miso Robotics has launched a crowdfunding campaign for the development of kitchen robots. The company's robot Flippy is designed to improve kitchen staff productivity rather than replace them. The system can be mounted on the floor or above the working space of a traditional kitchen. Miso AI software enables robots to participate in the preparation of various dishes, including chicken nuggets, American-style potato wings, french fries, cheese sticks, hash browns, onion rings, and more. Moreover, the robot is capable of handling several hundred orders per hour in a fully autonomous mode. 
the South Korean company Naver has developed robots for the automatic servicing of data centers. Garo and Ciro bots work in pairs complementing each other. The first is designed to transport equipment weighing up to 400 kilograms at a speed of 2 meters per second. The robot moves autonomously but will reduce its speed if it detects a person nearby. The second bot is responsible for loading, unloading, and installing equipment at the workstation. The robot's positioning accuracy is impressive, with a deviation from the specified position ranging from 2 to 5 millimeters, and it can lift equipment to a height up to 3 meters. In recent decades, the demand for new data centers has been growing, indicating that these robots are unlikely to be without work. Moxie is a mobile robot designed to alleviate some of the frequent and repetitive tasks nurses have to perform. The robot is equipped with an arm, gripper, and mobile base that allow it to transport lightweight medical resources, navigate doors and hallways, and carry items for nurses and other staff. Moxie operates by integrating with the hospital's electronic health record system. Nurses have the ability to establish rules and tasks, enabling the robot to receive instructions for specific tasks when certain changes occur in a patient's record on Moxie's floor. For example, if a patient has been discharged and their room is indicated as clean in the health record, Moxie will receive a command to deliver an admission bucket, a set of fresh supplies for a new patient to the room so that it's all ready to go for the next person. Some shoplifters have become so audacious that they don't bother hiding. They load up their carts and then bypass security gates or roll their loot through an emergency exit. Sounds too simple, but what if you find out that such carts prevented theft of goods worth more than $100 million? These carts are supplied by gatekeeper systems. Beyond the store's premises, their wheels lock up, attracting the attention of security and deterring thieves. By combining a radio frequency, enabled perimeter antenna, and self-locking smart wheels helps keep your property at your location, significantly reducing store operations costs. The range at which the locking mechanism engages can be customized according to the customer's preferences, and the battery on each cart lasts for at least five years. How do you like this solution to combating shoplifters? Share your opinion in the comments. The next generation Tando drones are specifically designed for indoor operations, essentially replacing an entire team of security specialists. Each drone monitors temperature, checks for leaks of various substances, reads meter readings, inspects shelves, looks for intruders, and performs other important tasks. Tando's intelligence, accurate and efficient mapping, makes it the perfect fit for every space. It's easy and affordable to upgrade or add new state-of-the-art sensor hardware on drones that cover larger spaces than to fully upgrade fixed sensors and camera infrastructure. The drones are configured through the specialized Control Bridge control system, seamlessly integrating with other building systems. Control Bridge serves as the brain that manages Tando's operations. So Control Bridge not only notifies users of issues detected by the drones, but also assists in resolving them. Write in the comments what you think about these new generation technologies. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.